Hi, I'm Sandaka, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Database Administration Series. Right now, we're in our week 2, and it should be in Lecture 3. So let's continue and proceed to our topic for today. So we have right now, we have uh, three topics. The first one is the SQL select command. The second one is identifying data sources. And the third one is describing the query output. Now let's proceed to SQL select command. In database programming, we have two programming languages. The first one is the XBase, which is considered to be a native database language. The second one is the SQL, or stands for Structured Query Language. Now, uh, these two interactively can use in the database programming. So if you're going to ask me about what we're going to to be used, of course, this uh, two programming language we need to use in our subject database administration. That's why if you are not aware of the database one using the XBase native database language, you cannot proceed to SQL structured query language because it is a prerequisite. So if you are finished with the XBase, I'm going to give an example of XBase. So uh, we have here a list, something like that. Recall, select, browse, append. So the basic of uh, creating database. But our topic is SQL select command. And this is something new uh, with the XBase. So I think we need to go further for the SQL select command to have the idea of what is this going about. A database language are used widespread on mainframes and mini computers that is also increasingly common on personal computers. This is what we are doing right now. You are not in a mainframes. You are not in a mini computers. But you have your own personal computer. It should be a desktop, a cell phone, or a laptop. And we can use databases on these platforms. Now, uh, why it is widespread? Okay. Because of the theory Rushmore. In Rushmore, you can connect tables by relation and join them all together. Okay, into a one table only or a single table only. Now, uh, the Rushmore theories is something like if you're not familiar with it. It is something like a mountain, okay? The head of Lincoln, there is a hidden chamber. So let's specify that uh, there are series of uh, head, head, okay? In the top of the mountain, which is curved, and uh, it is the same as a series of uh, tables now um, and there is a what we called hidden chamber and this hidden chamber classify as the uh, table that uses SQL select command we're going to select some of the fields in those heads or different heads and make it as one that's why on this Rushmore mountain so this is a mountain 
uh, there is only one chamber. So the chamber specify it is the SQF. On the analogy of the experts in databases. Now let's proceed. SQL select command is the fastest, most powerful, and most flexible tools in database programming. So, if you are an IT, uh, you need to do everything just to get and study SQL because this is uh, something like in demand right now. So, everything is considered to be in a database right now, unlike before. So, one of the example is Facebook. So, they have the the databases and it uses SQL for the selection so that's why uh, we can make tables from different uh, application okay so for example we have PaxPro we have access we have uh, SQLite, we have MySQL Yog, we have Oracle, we have uh, PostgreSQL. So, but even though there are many applications, they have all one single command, and that is the SQL command. The application is different, but the code or the program or the syntax you're going to type on that application are all the same. SQL select command are constructed from standard phrases, clauses, and keywords. So you need to complete the construction of typing the code SQL. So this select is one of the keywords. Okay? So there are also phrases and there are also clauses like uh, a what do you call a sub part or a part the whole. Okay? So to make it more accurate when we said clauses is something like a set and a subset so if it is on the set it should be a clause it should be if it is in the subset it should be in the clauses there are also phrases we can use like create okay so create insert update delete and uh, some of them are also what you called from where those are phrases okay so you need to construct the code to run the application in sql if you are not constructing the code right then there should be no output you can see on the screen or rather it should be an error that you're going to produce as an output to your program. Okay, let's proceed. SQL select command must identify at least one table source and indicate a list of fields or expressions. That's why in our uh, second slide, uh, I told you that uh, you need to know first the X base programming because you're going to create table here. Uh, in the table, you can produce or create the field name, the field type, the field width. The, those are in the list of fields or expressions. Okay? So you need to identify only one table. It meant to say, you need to create only one table and you can use SQL select command.
or the SQL command. Okay, let's proceed. SQL select command always produces a separate table as its output. If you create a single table, you can code the SQL select command and it will display another table of the code you write on the command. And the output must be similar from the first and you can configure it to, to have an output that is not similar as the way it is. Okay, so next. Here is the figure one. Shows the SQL select command in FactSpur database. What you're going to do is to type the command select in the command window inside of your Visual FactSpur. If you are if you don't have a uh, visual fax book you can use also access uh, any kind of database they are similar but the environment is very different so let's proceed to our summary in the sql select command it is always a single table output no matter how many tables contributed to the query or to make it easy rows and tables okay so you, every time you type sql there should be only one output table that is how it works so let's proceed and we are finished with the sql select command now we can proceed now to the second topic we have identifying data sources let's move on so we have here the sign asterisk why asterisk because this symbol represents all the fields whether or not the project database is already open and you already know that the fields are the container of the data okay the fields are the container of the data that's why we identify the data by a what you call asterisk to go directly to the source of those fields that we append or browse and put records on it okay it extracts data from one or more tables and no need to open the source tables in advance it means to say if we're going to use asterisk you can display the record in the table but there is also another part of not using asterisk something like if you want more tables then you can use more codes something like uh, appraises okay a classes you're going to include no need to open the those table you can input the code in the sql command by putting up asterisk on it okay now if a table is associated with the database you must either open the database before you issue the SQL select command. 
what do you mean by this? If you create a table or a database associated with Faxful, you need to open first Faxful, okay? So that the environment of the the decoding window is open. Imagine you are in the Windows operating system, then you didn't open your fax for your access. So where where are you going to type those command since it is associated with the database you have? So you need to open first Fax Pro or Access or SQL Yog or Light SQL Professional. So after opening, uh, check out where where are you going to type the code so that these uh, data sources can identify the tables or the source, the table and the, its record so that it can display. So therefore, uh, something like asterisk can link those field names okay so next this include the reference name with the table so we have uh, those references example select asterisk from class list so this one is the SQL select command this one is identifying the data source this one okay the asterisk from it should be a phrase Okay, a phrase from and we have the class list which is the the table name okay the table name so let's go back again select is the SQL command asterisk is the data source identifying the data source so right now uh, we cannot identify because we didn't see the the table itself but we can use asterisk to show them all okay that's why this one identify all the fields in the database and it will display all of them next we have the from okay this is a phrase and a class list a table name now here is the example of uh, the code select answers from class list in the command Figure 2 shows the SQL select command with a identified with an identified data source. Okay. Now we are finished with identifying data sources. Now let's proceed to the last topic we have describing the query output. You can use an asterisk to represent all the fields in the source tables. Table and tables. We use this also in a graph or report. But if you use set filter of X space, this limit the processing to a subset. Okay? So there is what you call subset. There is what you call set filter. When we set set filter, it limits the output of the the fields in the source table so we can study this uh, later okay don't worry for this next asterisk to describe the query output of an asterisk you simply list the expression separated by commas in x base command it is a list now example select space student number commas names comma email comma mobile number or mobile no comma delivery mode dlbr mode from class list look at this 
last topic we have identifying okay identifying the data source and we use as asterisk right now we describe the identified sources okay so the asterisk the the content of the asterisk is to know names email mobile no dlbr mode for uh, that is the asterisk it is not included from class list and select okay that's that's why if we're going to describe the output of asterisk so those are the outputs okay now uh, the asterisk identifies all fields in the table of class list all fields okay so this one is describing and the part one if, if you're going to use asterisk only that is identifying okay so this is an example figure three in enhance on shows the sql select command with a data source and describing query output okay so what you need to do is to press enter then it will display the output of a query design validation board right now we finish the sql select command number two identifying data sources and number three describing the query output and we all finish this just in case if you have any questions or comments just feel free to comment on my facebook sandata villarreal to my uh, mail uh, syvillarealjr at pup.edu.ph to my gmail syvillarealjr0105 the same as in yahoo okay so feel free to comment that's why uh, I'm happy if you're going to do that congratulations you successfully finished our lecture 3